Wife number one went to the market and she picked up this uh, red snapper. And he's got a couple friends down there that, and uh, some ugly looking fish right there. That fish right there looks pretty good. She's gonna fry them up over here in the Lodge 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker with the Sorry Sorry Store oil. So that's what we got going on right now. She wanted to go to the market this morning. Now look. If I do mine, don't want to get up early for nothing. Look at that rice cooker puffing that out. Folks, I'm not sure why this rice cooker, you know, puffs it out like that, that valve, because I'm not a rice cooker expert. But this was the most expensive rice cooker that they had. I wanted my ladies to have a Cadillac of a rice cooker. I'm not a rice cookerologist. But if I didn't mind, I got up this morning early and I knew something was up. She don't want to get up early. So I need to go to the market. We don't have any food. Okay. I'm thinking chicken, vegetables, all that stuff. Then she says something about, I don't want fish. I was like, ah, that's the only reason she got up. It wasn't to go get some damn tomatoes, carrots, potatoes, and a kilo of uh, chicken wings over there at Fresh Options. What it was yesterday on our walk, we passed the fish market. And I made the mistake of asking her, I said, hey, you ever been there in that fish market? And she's like looking at it, looking at it, you know, and she'd been thinking about that fish market all night. So she woke up early, went straight to the fish market, picked up this gang of, picked up that gang of three, and I suspect there's probably more in the refrigerator. Don't give a damn if the foreign guy wants fish and rice or not. I mean, listen, I'm just trying to be honest with you the way, the way these ladies think, right? Okay, their priorities are rice. Check, go to the market, get me some fish. Check, I got enough oil, check. And I guarantee the Datu Puti is coming into the scene somehow. Now, do you see any more food being prepared that potentially an old American dog like me might want to eat? No. You gotta fit in for yourself, folks. My male friends, it's a jungle. It's a jungle out there. It really is. Just trying to eat over here. You see the stress I'm under? I don't want fish and rice every day, baby. Oh, this is pandemonium. You got that rice cooker erupting like it's Mount Pinatubo. Got beautiful Fatima out here and yet another pair of Daisy Dukes that she didn't want to say she had. And look at the fish over here. Thank you, buddy. And folks, we got a crime scene here. We do have a crime scene. Fatima left behind some evidence and i don't have any rubber gloves but let's see if we can inspect this oh no not one but two some unauthorized purchases here hey look oh shit look closely at the crime scene there's, there's what hold, held the tags on. Maybe another little piece of plastic here. What I'm thinking is that this is some type of shoe purchase. But as I look at the shoes, I don't see the brand new shoes. All right, I'm gonna have to confront her with the evidence of this heinous crime of an unauthorized purchase. And I'm looking around for these new shoes, but they're hidden. They're hidden somewhere. Man, I got the evidence here to convict this Filipina. Oh, dropped a piece of evidence. All right, let's go. Let's go interrogate this criminal. Okay, and folks, I think I have found. I don't know. I don't know if those are new or not. See if they match. Just a Mylene collection. I don't know. 
this is what I've learned about wife number one, right? I guess it applies to probably most women who go on unauthorized spending sprees. This morning she got up early. She wanted to go to the market and get some fish and some vegetables. Now look, it's only a couple blocks, a few blocks to walk and accomplish that task. So when she's going for like an hour, she's not going to the fish market and to the vegetable stand and coming right back. There's some unauthorized browsing uh, going on. Some type of unauthorized browsing, which most of the time leads to an unauthorized purchase. I gave her a thousand pesos this morning. That's 20 bucks. She come back with $3 change. So she had them three, them three fish right there and a little bit of vegetables. I said, what? There's only 150 peso change? I'm already suspecting a non-authorized purchase, but she stuck to her gun. She held strong, claimed that the fish were 250, the vegetables were this, and she did this. But she left the evidence right outside the door when she pulled the tags off her new shoes. My goodness. I tell you, you know, I, I gotta go back to doing what I used to do. When I would go to the ATM machine, whatever, get some money out, however you get your money, you go straight to a money changer and change all of those big bills into 20s. I used to roll around with a stack of 20s like that in my bag, you know. I gotta go start, get, I, I, gotta, I gotta go get all the money changed to 20s and 10s and just start issuing her out the exact amount of money. I gotta get a handle on these unauthorized purchases. Goodness, cutting into my beer budget. What can I do? Fadima. Fadima. Don't go nowhere. I have some evidence here. Wait a minute. Did you purchase new shoes on your trip to the fish market this morning? No. Baby, I, this is the evidence that there was recently some tags torn off of a pair of new shoes at the back door, baby. And you happen to be wearing new shoes. That's not new, it's just this little shoes on the sporting. I gotta get to the bottom of this because you did spend too much money today at the uh, at the market. Well, I got you. So you're denying the purchase no of a new pair of shoes. No. I have no shoes. Hey, well, all I can do is go on the evidence. Okay. It look. It appears to me that you sat down on the back steps here and you popped the tags off a brand new pair of shoes after your market trip this morning. And now these are brand new shoes. This is not brand new, I always wear this. <laughs> so you stole those from Janice? No, I think my shoe, my same like this, I think Biro. I have no idea. Biro, Biro. I have no idea what you're saying. I have the same like this. This is for the Biro, because it, they have 40, that's not my size. Then my shoes like this. So if it's I not your this. size, they belong to Janice. Yeah, this is Biro. My size, my shoes like this is 37. I think Biro bring because it's not here right now. Okay. I think. All right, one more time. Where did these tags come from? Hello, this is in my bag. I cleaned the other day in my luggage. A likely story. Okay, so why were they outside the back steps this morning in pristine condition? Because I sweep the floor. Oh. Mm -hmm. Folks, you see what I'm working with? <laughs> this story makes no sense. I have not seen those on the floor. They have not been outside. They, they were freshly the put out there it's this the morning. Bed. You're busted, baby. Just admit it. Stop the bola bola. No, look, I explain this. I'm not bola bola. Cross my hand until I die. Baby, don't be doing that. Be... 
I mean, three Oswongs coming to get you tonight. Honey. The truth shall set you free, baby. You ever heard that? Your fingerprints were on on the tags. Yeah, because I, of course my fingerprints. I found your fingerprints and DNA on the tags. But I also got a, I got a witness. What? I got a witness. What? Forrest G. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Busted, baby. Like Hawaii Five-O. Like Magnum P.I., baby. All right, so how much did you say those shoes were? The shoes that you bought this morning. I'm not buying shoes. Oh, no, I'm not buying shoes. Like this oh, she's starting to break down with the intense pressure, with the evidence presented in front of her. I'm not buying shoes. Like you bought you something see? unauthorized. No, look in my you know. Luggage, for you, and look in here. I didn't need to look anywhere. You left the evidence laying on the ground where you put on the shoes. Oh, look in there. Look outside. Go. It looks like you tried the shoes on, then you hid them in the suitcase. Oh, good. Uh, Baby, those are not old. That's old, go. Look at that. That's brand new tread. Here, give oh, it. Oh, look, oh, look, oh. Brand new. Let me give it a smell. Mm. Yep, yeah, smells like Divi Mark. Smells look, just like Divi Mark. Divi Smells like Divi Mart. Did I go in Divi Mart today? No. You were gone for an hour. For an hour, could you? You're going to go in Divi. Baby, you'll feel so much better if you tell everybody the truth, honey. I'm not doing anything wrong. <laughs> in fact, sleeping. So I'm trying to hunt down these shoes she bought this morning. No, I've seen them before. Those might have been Janice's. <laughs> Check these out, folks. Are these not the cutest shoes you ever seen in your life? Benny bought these for Force G. Obviously, they're, these, this foot's too big now to wear them. Check out those little Nike Airs. They were so cute on him when he, when he could wear them. Look at that, no. That woman can hide stuff. She can hide her piggy bank. But I'm gonna find them shoes. Which box do I start with? Yeah, let's start with the rice cooker box. A likely hiding spot. All right, folks, what do you think? You think Fatima is guilty of buying a pair of new shoes this morning and they're just hidden somewhere in the uptown bungalow? Or do you believe her story that she was just sweeping the floor and that that brand new tag just happened to be where she was sweeping and she swept it out onto the ground. A lot of holes in that story. Could be true. There's a lot of evidence to support an unauthorized shoe purchase this morning. And she come back with uh, just a little bit of change, three fish and a couple vegetables. So she could have uh, laundered the money easily and you know it's just right here she sat down she tried the shoes on ripped the tags off and hit them somewhere or her story is plausible she was sweeping those tags were on the floor where she cleaned out her suitcase and she swept them out when she swept the whole house this morning but then again she sweeps every day why are they just coming out now why were they right here at the steps and why is she looking so guilty? Folks, let me know what you think. Is wife number one guilty of an unauthorized purchase? Or is she innocent of the charges and merely a victim of circumstance in her sweeping operation this morning? Let me know what you think, but I got to get a handle 
on these unauthorized purchases around here. Got to lay that financial pip hand down. <laughs> uh, folks, I don't know if I'll add to this video. If I don't, thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Peace out. Where you been, baby? You're looking so beautiful, but you know what? I know you've been in there sleeping. You've been sleeping. Look at you. Your hair. The evidence is in your hair. You got bedhead. You've been sleeping. But you look so cute, baby. Just come on down here and give Bedetti a kiss. I got some cheesemus for you. You want to hear the cheesemus? I like your shorts, baby. I don't see any need for you to buy new shorts because you got so many beautiful pairs of shorts. You know what? I'm feeling so I'm feeling so generous, baby. I'm gonna give you 50 pesos tomorrow to go buy to go buy that uh, pair of Daisy Duke shorts that you wanted. I'm gonna issue you one whole U.S. dollar to go get them shorts. Give Big Daddy and Aunt Elsie kiss. You know Aunt Elsie kiss, right? <laughs> Only people from my generation or older will know about an Aunt Elsie kiss. Tell me what TV show that was from. Leave it down in the comments. There might not be anybody that remembers that. What you eating, baby? Show everybody what you eating. Huh? How many fish did you cook today? Three? Three. What kind of fish is this? I said my... She starts out with the ati said. So this is the ati said fish. Yeah. Honey, you're. Forget the other fish is a damget and decided damget. I do not forget in Tagalog. It looked like you had a little red snapper. Yeah. That red one. You already ate the red one, or is this a red one? This the red. That's a red one. So I didn't have no meat because when she went to the market today, she was supposed to get chicken and pork. Now. Nah. She spent all the money on fish, most of the money on that unauthorized, suspected shoe purchase, and some vegetables. So what I did, I just put some vegetables in there, sauteed them, I put some noodles in there. I had a pack of spaghetti sauce, some spices. I got no meat. So this is called No Meat Spaghetti. Folks, I gotta give a big shout out to Janice for engineering this. She basically took a water thing, cut the, co the top out of it, and all of our sharp tools, whatever, they stay up here. We keep them out of the out of the reach of the young man down below. Great job, Janice. Shout out to you, girl. Thanks for engineering that. It works perfect. And if it starts to do the gangsaline, well, you just turn it towards the wall, and it's not going to fall over. You know what I mean? Honey, what movie did you want to watch tonight? Okay, folks. She wanted. She told, kept telling me I want to finish watching the parrot i said it's not the parrot it's the patriot look how that thickened up now it's still cool and it's going to get a little thicker someone come and man you you think that you're better than you better cook than what's the name of that uh gordon mother and ramsey i think so then you said i think so you know I can cook better than his ass, baby. He ain't got shit on me. You know what I mean? He ain't got nothing on me. Here in Houston. Yeah. That train going anywhere. Like it's 1976. Okay, room. Smell the wine and cheap perfume. You give love a bad. Check it out. Let me see if I did right. That's delicious. Macaroni grill, none of them places got nothing on me.